Hello fifth graders, this is Mrs. Lemoyne and today we're going to be doing Unit 6, Lesson 7, Interpret Diagrams. We're going to compare products without multiplying. Alright, so here I have an estimate and I need to find out if it is going to be too low, about right, or too high. Well, <clears throat> I notice that five-thirds, five-thirds, is bigger than one, isn't it? Five-thirds is an improper fraction, which means that if I went over here and I found out how many thirds are in five, how many threes are in five, I would get something that's greater than one. It's going to be one and two-thirds. So if I multiply one and two-thirds by a whole number, it's going to be greater than that number. So I'm going to say that an estimate that would be too low would be 9,625. An estimate that would be too high would probably be about 20,000. Just going to pick a number there. But an estimate that might be just right would be 1, 9,625, and then 2 thirds of 9,625. So if I split this <clears throat> 9 up into thirds, um, I know that 3 plus 3 plus 3, so 3,000 plus 3,000 plus 3,000 would be 9,000. So two of those would be about 6,000. So if I added 6,000 to 9,000, um, I could estimate, now remember I'm just estimating, that it would be about 15,625. So between 15,000 and 16,000 would be my estimate. Okay, and I base that on the fact that this is an improper fraction, so I know it's greater than one, greater than one. All right, let's move on to activity one. Oh, they're asking us some questions. How do we know the product is going to be greater than 9,625? Just because the improper fraction is greater than one. So the product is going to be greater than 9,625. How do we know the, the product is going to be greater than 15,000? Well, if I took a third of 9,000, remember we talked about it would be 3,000. So two-thirds would be about 6,000, and 6,000 plus 9,000 is about 15,000. So that's how we figured that out. All right, match each expression in the diagrams. So here is a fraction that's less than 1 times 3. Less than 1 times 3. So I can, I'm going to go with the pictures first because that's easier for me to see. This is more than 1, and that's 5. This is more than 1, and that's 3. This is less than 1, and that's 3. So I'm going to use different colors to match them. So this, I think, matches with this diagram. And so I'm looking for something that's going to be less than 3, right? Because this is a fraction times 3. So I think this is more than 5. This is less than 5. This is less than 3. So I think we're going to match this, these three objects, or three things. I'm going to choose a different color to go to the next expression, which remember this is going to be more than 1 because it's an improper fraction, times 3. Um, so remember this is times 5, so I'm going to pick this one because this is more than 1, right? 1 and 2, I think it's sevenths times 3. So this would belong to this. And then the product is going to be more than 3. So this shows a product more than 3. So I'm going to pick that one. Okay, another color. Let's use yellow this time. Here's a fraction again, less than 1 times 5. So that's going to be not this one because this is greater than 1 times 5. This is less than 1 times 5. So here's the picture that belongs with this one. And then I, the answer is going to be less than 5, isn't it? So this is an answer that's greater than 5, so I'm going to choose this one to match with it. Okay, uh, last one. Before I do that, I'm going to erase what's on here because those colors don't belong with that one. So process of elimination, but I can also reason that this is more than 1 times 5, more than 1 times 5. The answer is going to be more than 5. So there we go. Oh, I did green twice, didn't I? Silly Miss Lemoyne, let's do blue. So this belongs with this and this. All right.
So remember, I can just estimate the answers to fractions because a uh, product of, of a fraction and a whole number because I know those rules. Less than one, it's going to be less than that number. Le more than one, it's going to be more than that number that it's multiplied by. Okay, moving on to the second part of this activity. Here we are. Now we're going to use our mathematical symbols less than and greater than. <clears throat> so less than three times three is going to be less than three. Sorry, less than one times three is going to be less than three. Greater than one times three is going to be greater than three. Less than one times five is going to be less than five. More than one times five is going to be greater than five. Okay, let's see what questions they ask us about this. How did you decide which diagrams matched with each expression? Well, for the area diagram, I looked at the rectangle with a length of three and a width that was less than one, and I matched it to the fraction that was less than one, right? So two sevenths was less than one times three, so I found the area diagram that had a length of three and a width that was less than one. For the number line, I picked the one with the three and a point that was less than three. Let's share some ways that we compared two sevenths times three with three. Well, remember the way I compared it was that if the fraction is less than one times three, then the product is going to be less than three. Okay. Now we have a new activity. Priya ran to her grandmother's house. Jada ran twice as far as Priya. Han ran six sevenths as far as Priya. Claire ran 14 eighths as far as Priya, and Mai ran three fifths as times as far as Priya. So what I'm noticing here, that this is going to be twice, so two times. This is going to be a fraction like six sevenths as far as Priya. Claire ran 14 eighths as far as Priya. So this is an, uh, mixed number, I'm sorry, an improper fraction. This is a fraction and then this is a fraction. So this is what's uh, confusing me. This is times as far, and this is six sevenths as far. So we'll see what we do here. So the first question was, which students ran farther than Priya? Jada and Claire, didn't they? So Jada ran two times as far as Priya, so two times what Priya did, and Claire, this is an improper fraction, so it's going to be more than 1. So more than what Priya did, so this would be 14 over 8 times what Priya ran. This is going to be less than 1, so it's going to be less than what Priya ran. And Han ran 6 sevenths as far. That's almost as far as Priya, but not, right? Because 6 sevenths is really close to 1. All right. Which student, so we're going to write, sorry, I didn't write the answers. Jada and Claire. Okay, so I think times as far is the same as as far as. I think that's right. Okay, so number two, which students does not run as far as Priya? So we can say that that would be the ones that are left. Han, because he only ran six sevenths, and Mai, who only ran three fifths. List the runners in order from the shortest distance to the longest. Well, six is really close to seven, so that's almost a one. So I think that three-fifths is going to be shorter, right? So three-fifths, so that's going to be my. And then, so we're done with my. So then six-sevenths would come second, six-sevenths. So that would be Han. So oh, Ham, not Han. Han, there we go. So this was three-fifths. This was six sevenths. And I don't really need to, to get a common denominator to order those two fractions because I know that six sevenths is really close to one and three fifths is closer to half, right? That's how I'm reasoning that out. And then to, to, to decide uh, between Claire and Jada, I need to find out if this is one and something or two and something. So this one I'm going to go ahead and find out. How many times will 8 go into 14? Well, 8 times 2 is 16, so it's going to be less than 2, right? So that means that Claire, 
times. Write that correctly. 1 times 8 is 8 with 6 left over. So 1 and 6 eighths. So that's less than twice as far. So Claire would come next. And we could write that 14 eighths. Or we could write that 1 and 6 eighths. And then last would be Jada, who ran twice as far, so two times. Okay? All right, so I think it's Ma, Mai, Han, Claire, and Jada. So I guess I need to add Priya in there, right? So Priya would go between Han and Claire. Priya, Han and Claire, because... Three-fifths as much, six-sevenths as much, Priya, and then Claire ran 14 eighths, which is one and one six, so that's more than Priya, and Jada ran two times as much. Okay, let's see what our next question is. All right, so we still have the same facts at the top. Point P represents how far Priya ran. Write the initial of the student in the blank that shows how far they ran, how much one of the students will be missing. So remember we had my was the sh uh, shortest, so my with three-fifths. Then we had Han. Then we had Priya, Claire, and Jada. So there is one missing. I know that there are two that ran farther, and Claire ran farther than Jada. I'm sorry, not as far as Jada. Jada ran the farthest. So then I have to decide, um, is this three-fifths or six-sevenths? So again, six-sevenths is really close to one. So I think that this is going to be my and that Han would be really close to what Priya ran. That's my guesstimation because six sevens is really close to seven sevens right and like we talked about before three is closer to half of five well it could be closer to five but remember one two three four five so it's right in the middle to get to five I would say it's about half so that looks a little bit more than half so I'm gonna say that that's my and then this is Han all right, let's see what they ask us about this lesson. What do you notice about these expressions? Well, I notice that they're all multiplied by 2, right? I notice that they are put in order. They represent the amount of, that each person ran. If Priya's distance is 2, if Priya's distance was 2, all of them are going to be multiplied by 2. So for me, this means this is Priya's. And these are all the other persons, right? My, Han, uh, Claire, and Jada. What if Priya ran four miles? What multiplication expressions can we write to represent how many miles each of the other students ran? Well, that's easy. We're going to replace this two with four. So my would have been, whoops, three-fifths times four, six-sevenths times four, fourteen-eighths times four, and two times four. Does the order of the distances change when Priya's distance change? No. We're still running that fraction of the whole, right? So no. It would just be like the expressions above. Um, the order of the products is the same as the order of the other factor, the multiple of Priya's distance. So the order does not change. They're still in order. All right. Today we compared products without calculating their values. Han ran, ran six-sevenths as far as Priya. How do you know that Priya ran further? Because six-sevenths is less than one. So less than one times Priya would be less than Priya's. How can you tell who ran farther than Priya? Well, I look on the number line. Anything to the right of Priya's is further, right? It's a zero. So going to the right, we increase. So I know that it's further. So Claire and Jada. All right, here's our cool down. We have four new people. Oh, Mai's there then. Again, Diego, Karen, Elena, and Mai were reading a book. Diego read 40 pages. Elena read seven-eighths times as many. So that would be seven-eighths times 40. 
my ran red two and a half times 40, and Kieran read four fifths times 40. Okay, so for this one, we're going to really have to think about it. We're going to really have to think about these distances, right? So I know that my read the most, didn't she? My read the most because it's two and a half times as much as Diego. So I'm going to put my way over here. So we're writing the four names in order. That's all we have to do. We don't have to calculate anything. All right. Um, and then the next most would be Diego because this is less than one and this is less than one. So Diego would go here. Okay. So now I have to figure out is seven eighths bigger than four fifths. So when I think about those two things, I notice that seven is really close to eight and four is really close to five. So they're both almost holes, right? But when I'm, I'm going to calculate them, I'm going to have to actually calculate them, I think, to see who ran the most. Let's see. So if I did this over one, it would be eight and that would be 280. And if I did this over one, it would be five and this would be 160. So in order to compare them, they have to have the same denominator, right? So I would have to make this denominator the same as this denominator. So what could I multiply by to get them to be the same? I could multiply them by each other. So that would be times five and that would be 40. I can multiply them, those two by eight. And that would be, let's see, 16 times 8, 48. So this is going to be 40, sorry. 48, 8 plus 4 is 12. So this is going to be, yeah, 1, 2, 8, 0. So what I did there was I multiplied the base number times 8, and I added that 0 at the end. Okay? So let's see, will 280 times 5 be bigger than 1280? So let's see that. 280 times 5. Again, I can just add a 0. 40, 10 plus 4 is 1400. So 7 eighths is going to be bigger. So I'm going to say that Alina was next. And then the least red was Kieran. Now, if you could picture seven-eighths and four-fifths in your head, you might not have had to do all the math that I did, but I wanted to prove it to myself that Kieran read less, that's less than seven-eighths. All right, boys and girls, thank you for joining me for Lesson 17. I hope you join me again for Lesson 18, and like and subscribe so that I can continue to make these videos for you guys. Have a great day.